Give a round of applause for my friends Jason and Shannon. Yes. Y'all been making fun of them the whole time. They're fucking troopers. I thought it was a bringer show. My bad. How's your Burbank Comedy Festival going? Everybody doing all right? I performed comedy in the back of a van for the first time last night. Comedy's over there, yeah. As a Mexican-American, getting in the back of a big black van with blacked-out windows, that was a nerve-wracking experience, all right? We're pretty close to the border here. I didn't know what was going on, all right? I was like, you know what? Why don't some of the white comics get in there first, all right, please? Could they? You know what? Don't shut the door, all right? Don't shut the door, all right? I'm really nervous. Can I get out of here if I need to, all right? I have an exit plan, all right? Uh, I live in Seattle now. Uh, from originally from L.A. I live in Seattle now. Great time to be Mexican in Seattle, man. My white liberal friends are falling all over themselves for me. It's fantastic. They're like, we'll protect you, Todd. Do you want a burrito? Which I do, but you can't say that to me. Let me bring that shit up. You know what I mean? I don't remember, like, you want some fried chicken? No, you don't say that to burrito to Mexicans either, all right? It's the same dumbass shit. You're like, what is wrong with you? They have no idea how to handle Mexicans in Seattle. It's fucking bullshit. Oh, my God. Tell you guys, between you guys and me, and I don't tell them up there, I'm only half Mexican. <laughs> no, my dad was Mexican. My mom was Irish. So I actually identify as Leprechaun. Yeah, man. No, there's so more many of us out there. I got a Facebook group now, Jorge O'Malley, Seamus Rodriguez. It's fantastic. It's real good. But every time I come back to L.A., they never forget. They never let me forget that I'm only half, man. They're like, dude, you're Latino, you're white, you're a flour tortilla. That's the best we can give you, all right? That's the best. That's the, all they can do, you know? Uh, I successfully became a 38-year-old Latino with no kids. There's the applause break they don't give me in Seattle. Thank you guys for recognizing that struggle, guys. That is, uh, that's hard, man. Whenever I'm in Seattle, I'm like, well, you know what the secret is? Condoms. That's it, all right? We're not a magically fertile creatures, all right? <laughs> Prophylactics, guys. Get it. You guys can do it, you know? But I am 38 years old now, uh, and I got to be honest, ever since Game of Thrones is over and they killed Thanos, I don't have any long-term plans anymore, all right? I don't have anything... <laughs> I don't have anything I'm looking for. Man, two years ago, if you had told me, man, they announced season eight of Game of Thrones, they announced Infinity Wars and all that, I was like, God damn it. I got to get my life together. I got plans now, you know? I started exercising. I was going to the gym and shit. Not now, man. I'm just walking out in the traffic. <laughs> I don't have any plans, you know? So every time I feel really bad about that, I do what I always do. I do a little retail therapy. I go to the store and I buy some Legos Yes, what? That's too quiet bullshit, all right? I was poor growing up. Fuck yourselves, all right? I got that comedy money now, which is like $5 per show. So I buy Lego sets, man. And it, oh, man. Legos are different, though, as an adult. Like, when you were a kid, Legos were about imagination. They were about what was possible, all right? They were about laughing when your dad stepped on a brick, okay? <laughs> but as an adult, Legos... I just want something with instructions for my life. That's all I want. Something that tells me there's a plan, and if I follow it, I'll be all right, you know? I do Legos like this as an adult. I go like, all right, I get the set home, and I'm like, all right, brick A goes here. Oh, whoo, that felt good. Whoa, all right. Turn the page, brick B goes there. Oh, oh, there's a plan, guys. And for four hours, I don't have to worry about the future anymore, you know? So I got my Lego set. I was at the store, and I went to go check out lady behind the counter was like, do you want us to gift wrap that for you? I was like, no, I already know what it is. Thank you. I'm good. <laughs> and she's like, no, so you can surprise the person you're giving it to. Like, I don't know how gift wrapping works. What? <laughs> and she's like, no, no, no. Well, you usually want a, gri uh, you want a gift receipt? Would you like a gift receipt? I was like, listen, lady, take in the scene. I got a Millennial Falcon Lego set, a handle of vodka, <laughs> And all lean cuisine, all right? This is all for me. And I, my life is falling apart, guys. All right, it's fine. Thank you very much, Flappers. You've been great. Thank you. <laughs>